gaining ground to live our call and share with all his love extravagant whoa his love extravagant go tell the lonely and condemned our prodigal god longs for them to shine his face and show us grace to create us new again by those people who are showing you the light and the love of truth of our almighty God who is only true and who is only love. And he is saying, step into the light. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. To keep running, keep remaining. So, so because here's the thing. When you hear those words tonight, maybe what God is actually trying to say to you when he says remain, he's saying you must continue to be faithful to the things that you've been taught, regardless of your circumstances. Chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night. We don't have to stay stuck in our sin and our shame and our isolation. We claim freedom so we can rise up and have victory over it because shame keeps us down. But freedom empowers us to live differently. Yes, I will build my life upon your love. It is a he gave his son to the world and that son gave his breath for your sin. He gave his body for your guilt. He gave his blood for your shame. This is the same son that said the greatest form of love is to give your life and then the next night he gave it. there, when all else has faded away, when everything else has forsaken us, Jesus remains. That is the bottom line. 